take them from you and sell them back three times the price. <laughs> when the Shakespearean actors come on stage before Shakespeare's show and tell you to turn off your cell phones, but like in old English, you know, they like those. Um, so yeah, so the show was Slaughterhouse Five, oh. and, and, and uh, we are, we were all yeah, yeah. Um, we right here and. Uh, so, and there's, there's Nazis. It's about the bombing of Dresden. And right. There's a lot of stuff like that. There's Nazis in there. And so we just had the, you know, the curtain little speech come out. We had one of our Nazi soldiers just come out there with like a whip in his hand. <laughs> horse whip. Yeah. And he was just like, um, ladies and gentlemen, if you are like, <laughs> please turn, on please your turn off your cell phones. If you do not turn off your cell phones, you will be escorted out of the theater. And, then we <laughs> and all of a sudden, but we always had a plant in the audience. <laughs> cell phone, the the cell phone. We got just one of our ushers, and the cell phone went off every time. <laughs> and, so and, so, and the Nazis were just like, take him away. And, and we, tra- we literally dragged the usher out of the theater. We let him back in. Yeah, it's pretty good. Probably in Szechuan. The good person of Szechuan, and they made a whole song about it, and it made you think that the performance was actually starting, and it wasn't. It just turned <laughs> wrote the music for the show, wrote a song specifically for the, uh, the cell phone room, and it was hysterical. Uh, three of the actors went out, and he played the song, and they sang the words. And I think my favorite part was uh, they pronounced cell phone seraphone because it was uh, the good person of Szechuan. <laughs> Here we go uh, for one act. Um, Katie Medford and Dave Harlan uh, had a, a, basically created a scene where he was telling someone to turn off their cell phone. No, she was telling someone to turn off their cell phone. And Dave Harlan's cell phone went off. And they used their stage, she used her stage combat to beat the shit out of him and carry him off the stage. Little Katie Medford. It was genius. It was genius. I'm, doing it, I'm not doing it justice. I apologize. But. John Stone, composer lyricist of Rainy Day People, composed a little song at the beginning of the show that was specifically talking about turning off your cell phones, um, making sure that your babies are quiet, and so forth, and getting the entire song. It's just amazing and lovely and in the same style of the show which was the most amazing part and as conductor i did not have to conduct him as he sang and played piano at the same time that's all i have to say about that <laughs> when there's people in the audience who like tend to put on their cell phone and then someone comes out it's like Shut up so there was a uh, just before the play started, it took place in a little town in Texas, and they had the sound of the radio station, the local radio station, uh, and the DJs did the, did the soul, turning off the cell phones along with what songs were coming up, and what the weather was, and it was a nice way to tie in the cell phone morning to the play, and still get the morning across in the clear way. time when I was watching Dead Man's cell phone, they had a sound effect that was a cell phone ringing, and I thought it was a real cell phone, and the actor flipped out, and I've been scared ever since. The director once said, turn these lovely things off. I am in contact with the outside world. I liked it. At the world end in the next 97 minutes, I will let you know. That's what it is. ...of Stephen Deeds' Dracula, and they had the stage manager come out, the ASM come out from backstage, and she was like dressed as one of the vampiresses, and she blabbled on in like old English, and then she like pulled the cell phone out of her bra, and she was like this, turned it off, and then she like hissed at the audience and walked off. <laughs> uh, uh, someone, uh, it was a theater in the round, and there's a student show actually, and the, the guy got up and got a call, and it was actually somebody planted in the audience, it was on his cell phone, and somebody, uh, uh, one of the actors in the show, came out and shot him point blank, and he died, and then the, uh, the stagehands came on and carried this guy off stage. And, 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 the, and, that, and there was no words. The guy with the gun just stood there and looked at everyone else in the audience, daring them to keep their cell phones off. And he walked off stage and the play started. It was brilliant.